it's all not done that way. A lot of it is not done that way. But if you did it that way, it would work 100% every time. Unless you hit a meteorite or something, but with yeah. five or ten to make a damn bit of difference. See? Yeah, right. <laughs> and you can't predict for that anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, right, yeah. Murphy got going, see. So I was project engineer on capsules, see. We had specific capsules. There was about like four of us. And I also was a flight controller too, because the system for the systems, because very, there was nobody that knew the systems, see, and, and the guys that knew the overall systems better than anything else are the ones see, who were project engineers. See. You were flight controller for what? For Al Shepard? Well, in fact, for John Glenn's flight. For yeah. John, Al, John Glenn. Al Shepard's, right. Al Shepard's too, yeah. And Gus Grissom as well. Uh, yeah. 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 I was uh, me and another guy. We swapped back and forth, you know. Uh -huh. But our main job was project engineering. See, but uh, flight controllers, you know, didn't have any systems people who wanted to understand all what the systems were. So, but uh, the, you handle all the systems. And from there, we went into uh, Gemini, and that was a part of the part of the power thing. But mm -hmm. in that, in the meantime, that's when uh, Kennedy said. J.F. Kennedy we'll said, hey, go. look, we're going to go to the moon in 10 years, decades. Yeah. Hey, well, we did it in eight years. Going to the moon was a completely different subject. You know, yeah. you start yeah. up with, yeah. boy, nobody's ever done that before. Well, how do we do this? How do we do that? But the Gemini program was part of the reason I say that was uh, to kind of check out or seeing how this rendezvous stuff was going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, could guys do it, you know, and procedures and everything else and how everything worked out. I was always involved with things somehow when they went wrong, I got involved somehow. Why is that? Why is that? Do you think? I don't know. They it's just you that they went wrong? I kind of, I guess, for one thing, I was. Uh, my mind generally works in all the areas of all the disciplines. It's right. not. It's not restricted to one. See. Okay. So you get specialists and whatnot. See, but then you have to see the overall picture and too you, somehow, and have an understanding for, let's say, in each one of the areas. Have you always had that? Like, I mean, not just before, like. Right the way back. Yeah, I, I kind of, well, yeah, I've, I've messed around with airplanes and things like that, but I kind of, my background is such that, yeah, I just kind of naturally do that. I was yeah. always inquisitive. If something didn't work, well, why, why? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. just to trace it. Yeah, to keep on going, see. Yeah. So that kind of evolved when I got uh, in the Apollo then. I ended up uh, uh, being headed of, well, first of all, I did all the mission reports. See, for each mission, I don't know if you ever read them. But each mission, there's a mission report that's put out. It says what was accomplished, what wasn't, what yeah, went wrong, what was going to be done about the straight said I should read them. He had them all out on the, he had them on on the floor, yeah. all oh, over his office. Well, you notice, my, you'll see my name, and I put yeah. all those out, see. But see, in the process of doing that, well, I was uh, uh, enjoyably forced into looking at everything, you know, to say, okay, this is what we're going to do about it, or whatever, see. This is what all, with the engineers, with the companies, and everything else under the sun, see. Uh -huh. but it was, I kind of directed all that activity. So, uh, and any time something wasn't working, I was right there, you know, the kind of run. So that's how I, it, it kind of uh, worked into that. Right. So far as the Apollo goes, that's how that was. I see. Yeah. As a result, too, so you ended up at a pretty good feel for a systems operation of, uh, of, of engineering. I'm talking about just like structures, the environmental control system, electrical system, navigational system, you know. Right. Yeah. Structures, you name it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Rendezvous? Uh, well, uh, rendezvous, uh, there was not really any, that, that was a procedure. Right, okay. That, see, that was, I didn't worry about procedures very much, see. Okay. Although occasionally that would happen when the astronauts would do something wrong and something happens, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, then I had to figure out, well, uh, why did that happen? If it was, we have to make a design change. See, we were flying like yeah. about roughly every two months. Mm -hmm. See, so there was a. So we couldn't make the next flight until we made sure all the, what happened oh, there was always, uh, had correction or not, which ones could, which one couldn't, all that, see, so that was the level it was, see, so it was quite a lot of pressure. Yeah, you know, constantly it, it, stimulating. Oh yeah, oh yes, it was like, it wasn't like work, see, so to speak, it was a very intriguing thing, you know, yeah. I mean, it was, uh, your mind was on it all the time. I don't think. See, for man, it's not impossible, see, but the society, I don't think, will exist. The, the Earth society will exist long enough because it's not functioning right. It's functioning the way it's killing itself. Mm -hmm. We're killing this place very, very quickly. Yeah. And unfortunately, nobody has written down the equation of all what it takes in order to keep this Earth in balance. No one's done the, the, the 13 on it. 
Well, yeah, but the, what I'm saying is, I'm talking about, you know, we're getting more and more and more people. This earth can't handle that. Yeah. I mean, we're, yeah. we're throwing them way the hell out of balance. Yeah. And all of a sudden, okay, it's it's going to be, you're going to be over the edge. Uh -huh. The point where it's not going to return. See, I yeah. mean, it's forever going to accelerate the other way. Uh -huh. You see, yeah, it's, yeah. it's what I think is going to happen way before any any of these other things. That are. So I think that time, just my time frame, I would think that that uh, no man is uh, is uh, confined here. Or now I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised as man in other solar systems mm -hmm. and his life in us. Oh yeah, I mean I, I would I would think it'd be impossible. It wouldn't be because of all what we know. Keep smiling. <laughs> Good and straight in, great. Good. And start at the Yeah, good. Square. That's that's it, yeah. Good. Got a line with the camera. Yeah, absolutely dead so on. That's tilted tilted, I'll be tilted too, and the <laughs> photograph won't know the difference. <laughs> yeah.